this movie was a big part of my childhood, and it's definitely not as good as I remembered. It was one of the movies that I thought would be as good as I remembered out of all the childhood movies I've watched, but it's not. The cast is pretty stacked, though, and they got some um, actors that I did not expect, like um, The Mole is played by fucking Nicolas Cage, who I've um, wanted to stop watching his movies because of stuff I found out about him. But I didn't check the cast until after because I just didn't think Nicolas Cage, of all people, would be in this movie. Um, a comedian plays Blaster. Um, the dude that plays Justin Hammer in Iron Man 2 plays the main character, Darwin. Um, Hurley is played by um, Happy Hogan from the MCU, and Hurley and Darwin are brothers. So Justin Hammer and Happy Hogan are brothers in this movie, which is pretty fucking funny. Um, Jorhez, I think is her name. I don't know how to pronounce it. She's not played by a notable actor, but she has had some movies that I've heard really good things about. So I will definitely be checking those movies out in the future with my long fucking list of movies I need to rewatch or watch. Um, Will Arnett, uh, young Will Arnett's here. Um, he played Batman, which he did fine in, and he was in the Ninja Turtle movies, which I found him extremely annoying in and almost made me hate the actor himself just because of his role in the Ninja Turtle movies. It, it, I don't know. I just did not like him in those movies. Um, now, talking about this movie, um, Yorhez is um, very fucking generic and bland. So is Blaster. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like Hurley either. So Darwin is literally the only character I like in this movie. Um, Jorhez is the typical, you know, woman that um, doesn't like girly things. Which, you know, I guess is cool. It's just what fucking Disney does. Um, she also, you know, this one is clearly just something that was written by a man. Was that, um, you know, women don't know what they want kind of shit. Where, you know, she's messing with both the men to figure out which one she's interested in or whatever. And you can never figure out which one she's actually into. So, cool She's just really bland and boring. She's mostly just there for that joke about how they don't know which one she's into. And that's it. She's ha She had like one or two good lines that I really liked. But that was it. Blaster um, plays the typical cool guy. He's horny. makes a lot of fucking horny jokes. I did not like Blaster at all. He was definitely my least favorite character in the movie. Though I personally think he has the coolest design. Um, Hurley was fucking terrible. He just does fart jokes and eats a lot. And that's it. That's his character. That's his whole character. I I did not like him. He was extremely annoying. By far my least favorite character. I was by far looking forward to two scenes the most. Um, and that was when... um. Blaster is put on the like the whole toy track scene. I always love that scene with the music and shit. It was very iconic. It still held up. I still still thought it was pretty good. The kid that does that though is actually way more mean than I remembered. He actually tries to throw Harley into a snake enclosure. But you know, his upcomings is just being thrown into a kiddie pool. Not even a big pool, a kiddie pool. I remember being so satisfied as a kid when it happened, but now I'm just kind of unsatisfied because of how much of a dick he was. I would have preferred him falling down the stairs or something. Not falling in a kiddie pool and getting wet. Like, whoa. Um, then the other scene was the agents chasing the um, guinea pigs, hamsters, whatever. I can't remember what they're supposed to be because they had to keep making a joke that... um. People didn't know what kind of animals were they are. They're even called gophers like twice. Like it's it's not funny that you're just calling something something it's not. But they get chased by cars and then fireworks and shit go off and they have really good music going in the background. I really like that. Um, 
The soundtrack at times is really good. Other times it's not. Because this was a movie I rewatched all the fucking time when I was a kid. I still have it on DVD. I watched it at my cousin's house. Um, after I had already seen it multiple times on my DVD because she was excited to see it. Um, I'd watched this movie so many times as a kid. Yet I only remember like three songs in the movie. Four if you count the Lady Gaga Just Dance thing. But that thing only lasted like ten seconds. And it was just her like training on a simulator or whatever. The Blaster has it as like the hamster wheel thing or whatever we hear it for like a few seconds again um so the movie is just you know hamsters are genetically modified or whatever but not really they just have things that um humans can communicate with them by having things in their ears or something i don't know also for whatever reason blaster and hurley are in the same ball even though in the movie it's Hurley and Darwin. Um, that's a weird <laughs> decision. Um, the one dude also gets like punished. Um, because he doesn't let um, him do it. Because he didn't really get any evidence. He finds out yeah the guinea pigs can like talk. Because of his um, technology or whatever. So, you know, that is impressive. But then he finds out that he broke into someone's place with the guinea pigs. And not only that, he has no evidence to prove that guy did anything wrong. So Will, Knott's, um, Will Arnett's character rightfully shuts the place down and wants to confiscate the guinea pigs. But um, apparently he's a bad guy. He gets reassigned to fucking antarctica and now he's freezing and he apologizes like that's such a dick thing to do meanwhile um the dude that was gonna destroy and kill mankind and all kinds of shit um his punishment is to just fix the things he fucked up i remember that also being really satisfying as a kid because yeah the they throw a big number, like he's like a hundred thousand more to go or whatever. Yeah, but you put yourself in that situation, dude. So that's like the least they could do to you. Fucking poor Will Arnett's freezing his ass off because he did the right thing. Um, it's still a decently entertaining movie. It's not boring by any means, but you know there's just um. Dumb stereotypes about women, among other dumb stereotypes. Um, so th that that's that. It's an all right movie. Never got a sequel, and I'm really not surprised. I was as a kid, I was surprised, but um, not surprised now. Oh, and also the big evil dude. He gets like a very short um, monologue from Darwin where he says that we're your family. We took you in. And now he's like, oh, what have I done? There's no big fight or anything. And when, um, you know, there is kind of a fight, but he just sends one of his technology things after Darwin and Darwin fights it for a little bit. But there's no fight between Darwin and the mole. Which I would have liked, even if it was brief and lame. Still would have been be better than him saying we're family and then him immediately going, oh, guess I fucked up then. Like, okay.